Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Martin. I am Seth. And uh, we are Otmo, but today we have partnered with Husqvarna to discuss complex commercial installs. We're here to discuss complex commercial installs and the role that their professional series, the 500 series products, specifically robotic mowers, come into play to help you manage, say, college campus, corporate universe, corporation, local school, golf course, anything, how to most efficiently manage that. We're gonna talk through each of the products. Yep. Uh, we're gonna talk through what are the best applications for them. And we're gonna use a local installation to try and illustrate you know, why we make some of the decisions we make to help optimize your property for the mower to make sure that you are getting the results you expect. Yeah, yeah. specifically focusing on putting the correct product uh, in the correct situation and getting the most bang for your buck as far as you know, dollar per acre. If you get a chance, please like and subscribe. That always helps us out. Uh, Martin, I think the uh, biggest question is, you know, why do we partner with Husqvarna? Why do we want to spend a little time focusing on their products? Yeah, look, we, we know all the other robotic mower brands. We love them, we sell their product. Mm -hmm. uh, Husqvarna specifically though has been around for 30 years, mm -hmm. right? They're tried, they're true, they're tested, been working with landscape, lawn care professionals the entire time, doing thousands of hours of testing with these products, with industry experts. We've got a great relationship with them. They've been wonderful partners, especially in the world of robotics, and I think that it's long overdue to showcase some of our work with their products. We are here at a, a local customer, a local municipal park who has multiple solutions implemented. We have had mowers out mowing for over a year at this point. They manage this five acres of, of this park now. It, they, they, don't, they don't have people come in and touch this grass anymore. We can kind of go through and illustrate the, some of the use cases and, and best applications for each of those models. Yeah, I think that that's great. So uh, let's get into it. Let's do it. So Martin, since we're we're talking the 500 series, uh, we've got a 520H here in front of us, and I think it's just good for to have a little bit of a visual reference and yeah. a friend on the table here. Um, so when we're talking the 500 series and the 400 series, yeah. one of the the 50 foot differences is the 500 series is going to typically be an orange model. The color orange, yeah, you can't yeah. miss it. You can see it from 100 feet away, <laughs> <clears throat> and yeah, it denotes that this is just a little bit different from the residential series. Yep. The next thing I I would notice or would like to point out is the interface that comes on the Pro Series models. And it is, um, to use one word, minimal. It is very minimal because you know to that context of where these are operating. If they're operating out in public, I think the last thing you want is you know the average Joe coming by and messing around with your mower with a keypad that you might see on a residential series. Yeah. So, you know, the start, stop, power button, and then using that with either, you know, the direct uh, auto mower app or the fleet management app, which we'll get into, um, is the best way for you and your crew to interface with them. Yeah, and frankly, the only way that you can, mm -hmm. yeah. you can uh, interact with it in a complex manner. After we get past kind of the interface and, and everything, you know, we do need to talk about the difference in cutting systems between the orange bots and the gray bots. Yes, uh, so I think first and foremost, since I did say 520H, let's talk what H is. Yep. So H is high cut. High cut, yep. um, So where you're, you know, if we had a 520 here, you're, gonna, you're sitting between... Uh, 0.8. 0.8, yes, and 2.4. You know, and that's great for more southern grasses, shorter grass types. But you know, up here in Ohio, we have some longer grass types yeah. that need to be optimized for that. So the H series comes into play, which has a wider cutting height. Yeah, you're you're, you're looking at like 1.8 to 3.6 yeah. on the H series. And you know, where we are in Ohio for your your rye bluegrass mix, um, maybe some of your tall turf type fescue, mm -hmm. our clients like to cut at that three to three and a half inch range. And that's why we will go towards the H models when we're trying to address one of those applications. Yep, that's always a consideration. Um, and uh, going to the cut system, um, and a newer development this year, the, mm -hmm. the 500 series Pro Series products from Husqvarna do come with a five blade cut disc. They do. Which is in contrast to the 400 series, which still has that standard three blade cut disc. Yeah, yeah, and what you're gonna get, the benefit of the two extra blades is the cut is gonna put a little bit less stress on the motor 
uh, so you get a little bit more shelf life out of the motor. You actually get a better cut because you've got five blades doing the work instead of three. Um, and since we expect these to live out a long life and work constantly, we want to give it the best chance to do that as possible. So little improvements like adding the two extra cut blades are making a huge difference. Yeah, and I think that speaks to the mindset of optimizing these products for professional use. Um, and you know, not to say they can't be used by homeowners. If it is the right application, this product is more than capable to manage that application. 100%, and um, no reason this can't be at a, a half acre residential yard. This is a 520, so I wanna call out another difference and similarity. Both the Ford 500 series have wired and wireless units. Yeah, so when we talk wired, um, you've got the all-wheel drive 535, the 520, and the 550. Mm -hmm. uh, those are going to be your wired commercial line. Then you have the 550 E-Post and the Siora, yep. which are going to be your wireless um, RTK-guided yep. commercial mowers. Yep, and E-Post for exact position operating system. That is correct. All yeah. right. Hey, I get, I get a treat. <laughs> I've got a gold star over here somewhere for oh, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and then, all right. Uh, uh, and last but not least at all, I think this is incredibly crucial, and I mentioned it earlier, the fleet monitoring that comes with the 500 series is really, I think, what makes this commercial applicable. Yeah, and Husqvarna is the only one to knock fleet management out of the park mm -hmm. with uh, robotics. Uh, it's called Husqvarna Fleet Services. What I love about it is, uh, A, you can have it on your phone, tablet, or computer. There is like an online dashboard portal that you can go to on your PC. Um, B, you get to see all of your robots in one spot. In a list view, you can send multi-unit commands, stop, start, adjust schedule, get service intervals that are just staring you right in the face. Um, and you can also see things like from a map view, um, if one robot is having problems in one particular spot, you can look on the map view and then you can now address an area um, in your campus or in your park that, that needs addressed. Yeah, and I, and I think what that means is the mower is going to point out areas that could use some improvement or optimization, not just for robotic mowing, but for pedestrian use. Yeah. You know, I think a great example of that is these caster wheels can get stuck in holes that are out in the middle of the field that, you know, you have to find the right spot to notice it. It'll find that spot, it'll point it out, you now have the opportunity to fill a potentially, you know, liability hole yeah. and address that. So you are, you know, really refining all the rest of your property while you're not mowing and while your mower is telling you that, hey, I get, I'm having trouble here, can we fix this? Yeah, exactly. It's it's a it's a win-win, frankly, because like you said, it's a little bit of a liability fix bonus, if yeah. you will. Awesome. Well, we'll go get into some of the different models yeah. um, and we'll walk through some of the applications like we have installed here at this local municipal park yeah. um, and we'll see, you know, what are those applications? How can we expand this? How does someone implement this onto golf courses, campuses, professional sports fields and everywhere else? And then these are ready made for all of those things. So let's get into it. The 520, 520H, it's one of the, it is the smallest area yeah. capacity wired mower from the Husqvarna 500 series. So why don't you tell me, you know, why we picked that for this area? We're still talking about 0.6 acres. Mm -hmm. We actually have it managing just shy of half an acre in this location here. But what are we looking at? Ton of tree cover. Yep. A lot of slope here as well. We're crossing sidewalks. It's a complex install. We had to give it a, a mower, put a mower out here that could handle all this weirdness. Yep. And 520 is perfect for that. And I know that there are, you know, when we talk about those boundaries, those hard bounds, so like roads where they don't want a crossing. So that's immediately going to shut down its ability to go past that threshold. Right. So putting it at about that 0.5 acre area means that they're getting good value for the total area covered by that model. We just don't think that EPOS would have been effective here, especially mm -hmm. when the trees are full of leaves mm -hmm. and we would have to deal with, um, you know, not having the convergence of satellite coverage between the reference station and the mower that you need with that. So a safe option here and a very cost effective option yeah. here because we're only looking at, you know, half an acre of coverage was the 520. Just perfect mower at the perfect price to get this job done. Yeah, and knowing the puzzle pieces and then knowing where they fit and how they fit together. Yeah. So we talked about why we installed it here, but you know, what other factors might determine, you know, the application of a 520? What are you willing to pay? Mm -hmm. uh, 520 is, you know, cheaper than, a, than in any of the e-post models that are out there. Mm -hmm. um, not, not doing overkill. I mean, you don't need something that can handle two and a half acres to cover half an acre worth of yard. Yep. 
this is tried and true. The wired units have been out for 30 years now. We mm -hmm. know that they work. When it comes to something that we needed to have dependability being bulletproof, we knew that this was the perfect mower for this spot and can be the perfect mower for something like a half acre residential yard. Yep, or you know, if we want to think commercial too or sports turf, you have kind of a supplement to an area that is being covered by larger other mowers, yep. which is a big part of what this does. Um, say you have some areas that are cut off by hard obstructions, uh, the inside of a you know building, like an sure. open lot area, that would be great for a wired unit, no interference, small, cost effective for the price, you don't have to get equipment inside and out of it. Um, we actually have a wired Husqvarna unit at an interior courtyard at a college here in Ohio. Won't right. name drop, but it works perfectly. <laughs> See? And, they, and they're getting good value out of that too because they're not paying for an acre and a quarter to two and a half acres of mowing. They're paying yep. for a small amount of mowing. Yep. So it's why these still have and will always have a place in this world. Yep. Um, and what's important is you know when to use them to your advantage. Yep. Martin, I can't help but notice we're on a little bit of a slope. We are, yeah. And now, since we're on a little bit of a slope, what do you think we're going to talk about? Probably an all-wheel drive unit. If it's orange, I'm going to guess 535X. Oh, well, you are very good for the most part. It's not an X. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, it is the 535. And we are still at that municipal park location. Yep. And we are talking about the 535 installation in this particular spot. Yeah. While it can handle up to 0.9 acres, uh, the, the big win for the all-wheel drive is its ability to handle adverse terrain, so. Yeah, and where we are, it's an embankment, right? And it actually goes over to the roadside, and this mower cuts all the way up to the curb uh, mm -hmm. on the other side of this embankment. But we're dealing with some pretty steep stuff here, and we had to make sure that it wasn't gonna get stuck in wet conditions. It's gonna be able to climb it over and over and over again. Uh, and all-wheel drive just made the most sense here. Uh, it's well underneath its acreage capability, mm -hmm. but that's all right. We're more focused on terrain issues here, and that's why we went with the all-wheel drive. Yeah, 100%. And the 535 and the 435, for that matter, both of the all-wheel drive from Husqvarna are phenomenal, and they're goats. Yeah, you know, I you mean... You have the, the pivoting chassis, and you have the 70% grade yep. management. I mean, that's a very steep hill. Even what we're on now is not is not even really pushing this mower to yeah. its limits. Yeah, I mean, you, when you talk 70% grade, you're talking about 35 degrees, you know, mm -hmm. 45 is gonna be about that. I mean, it's, try to walk that. Go go try and find that slope and walk that, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, and these mowers handle it without even bat an eye. Yep. I think another opportunity for the 535 where it really stands out uh, is retention ponds, ponds yeah. in general, because you typically have, you know, some, some steepness, yeah. you know, next to the pond. The last thing you wanna do is send your mower for a swim. Exactly, and, and that kind of speaks to a larger point of uh, employee or crew safety um, on your work sites. You know, putting someone on a very heavy piece of equipment like a mower, which they're dangerous, you gotta respect them, mm -hmm. on a heavy embankment like that, it just can turn into a bad situation real quick. Um, and we can completely eliminate that from your problem set, right? By putting a mower on a very heavy incline on the steep embankment around a retention pond, anything like that. And, and it just kind of speaks volumes as to how these can improve your overall working life yeah. when you're trying to manage a complex space such as a municipal park. You know, we can go beyond a municipal park. I think campuses, corporate yep. offices, the, the all-wheel drive series is a great solution to manage those, you know, more difficult areas. Got a 550, uh, this is an H, high cut mm -hmm. model, um, managing just under an acre right here and it actually lives across the pathway over there. Mm -hmm. With wires, we're able to bring it up here. Like you said, it is managing under its max capacity of yep. an acre and a quarter, but you know, why, why would we choose to do that? Yeah, a couple different reasons. One, we are on a lot of slope here, so we assume we're gonna lose a little bit of its max capacity, but also we don't want these running all the time. Uh, we wanna give it enough of a chance to work inside of, of its capabilities correctly. It's gonna keep the grass looking better and the mower's gonna actually last a lot longer if you don't try to max it out on your application. Yep, exactly. Um, so it is a wired unit. You know, when we're looking around, uh, you know, we're seeing, you know, some trees, some hills and everything. Would an e-post be better for this than the 550 wired? So an e-post would have been okay here. Mm -hmm. um, and it was kind of one of those cost versus benefit scenarios here mm -hmm. where we felt that going with a couple different wired units kind of exactly where we were and mm -hmm. splitting the work up between them was for their dollar 
uh, more work that's going to get done. Yeah. Um, could an eco epos have worked here? Absolutely. I mean, the trees aren't terrible. Mm -hmm. It would have created some problems that we would have had to get creative on how to solve. Uh, but we felt much more comfortable uh, going with wire, solid proven, especially under tree cover. Mm -hmm. We knew that we could split the workload up to a couple different units and that we wouldn't have to worry about any type of satellite loss. Yeah. So it's a really interesting spot that we're in because we have use cases for three different mowers here. Yeah. We're standing on the 550s work area. Yep. We have a 520 over that way yep. and a 535 right in front of us. And that's one thing that we love about the Orange Series from Husqvarna is we have all of the tools in the mm -hmm. kit to be able to address a very complex install that we're looking at here today. And these mowers have been here for over a year now. Yeah. Um, this is how this place gets its grass mowed. Yep. Um, and it's working very well. Uh, they, they seem to love it. I haven't heard otherwise of you. No, I have not. <laughs> so Martin, where are we at now? So this is a local client, it's a corporate HQ. Uh, and we have a 550 e-post installed here. Okay. So this customer, they've been a customer for a while. We've installed multiple mowers on their property. They've got some, they've got, you know, 535. They've had normal 550s. Um, so this 550 e-post, it replaced two pre-existing wired units? It did, yeah. So, you know, we were going for a little more bang for your buck, right? We have this one actually taking the place of two wired units that did cover the area that we're looking at as well as the area behind us. Uh, and it's now taking care of just shy of three acres on its own. So we've actually stretched this one a little bit, but you know, that's okay. Cause we're just trying to keep the grass cut. We're not looking for that super fine, cut it four times a week kind of look. Yeah. So they were very happy with how this has come out. And we've got it set to the checker pattern and aesthetically it looks great. Yeah, uh, no, I agree. I think even for it being a little bit more dormant cause we're later in the season, Grass height's great. It still, it's a little crunchy, but feels good. Yeah. Um, and to that point, though, with the pattern cutting that comes with e-posts, you know that takes that acre and a quarter of the traditional 550 and doubles it to a two and a half acres. Yeah. And like you said, we can stretch it a little bit because if we look at this this installation, uh, it's relatively flat. It's got some minor hills and grades, but this is nothing that it can't handle, yeah. and that's going to really detract from it. And it's it's wide open. It just sits up, down, up, down. We've actually got this one split into a couple different zones. So it attacks each one a little bit differently, but at the end, it all comes together. It looks like one cohesive cut. So as part of the install, we were strategic that way. Client's super happy with how this worked out. Um, it's just a win all around and a great showcase of how we can put an e-post out at a corporate uh, H headquarters type application mm -hmm. and just, you know, they don't have to pay a landscaper to do this. Martin, new location. Where are we? Yeah, we're at a sports complex uh, where soccer is played okay. quite regularly. And we have a Ciora here managing about 17 acres. So speaking of the Ciora, so that is e-post wireless. Yep. So it manages about how much? Seven, 17 acres here. 17 acres here. Yeah. So that's about an acre under its max capacity. Right. Getting a maintenance cut and less of a fine cut that yep. you would get with a six acre and under with Ciora. Yeah, this grass is getting cut about uh, twice a week. Okay. I mean, and that's more than enough for, I think, you know, a municipal, uh, more recreational layout like this. Uh, so as we can see, it's relatively flat. Yep. Not a whole lot of undulation, but it is in good shape. Yeah. This has all been scheduled around uh, when the league comes and actually does practices, has games, et cetera. Um, and, and, and that the staff here that manages this machine has been able to add stay out zones for the goals once those got put up um, and, and just really customize the install and application to what they need for the season of sport that it is, which right now is soccer. Gotcha. So, you know, we're talking sports complex. Uh, is your limited to sports complexes? Oh, absolutely not. I mean, this could just be any type of green space. You know, we could just have this being a regular park. Um, what we like it being specific to a sports complex for is say if we dialed that down to like managing six acres, Sior is out there cutting that daily, which we would love to see because now you're talking about that perfect, beautiful, super precise carpet cut that this is capable of. Yeah, absolutely. A concern with wireless units can be, uh, what's the signal reliability? So installations like this, this is not a concern. This is ideal use case. Yeah. So maybe it can handle some trees, but it's, this is where you're not gonna drop off on signal. Yeah, no, and, and that was the reason why it made so much sense to just put one Ciora here as opposed to maybe like six 550s, yeah. right? We knew that the Ciora could handle the, the cut want or the need from the client um, 
we wouldn't have any problem having to get around of obstacles or any kind of complex things, which this can do to a degree. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, this is perfect ideal install for a Ciora. Great. So look, whether you are managing multiple sports fields or a college campus, what do they have in common? They're all different. They're all different, they're all complex, they all have their own challenges. Your, your property is a puzzle, Husqvarna makes pieces, and it's our job to help figure out how they come together. And uh, we've been doing it for a while now. We're uniquely positioned to tell you the best way to do it. Um, and we think that Husqvarna uh, right now is probably the best brand on market to be able to accomplish these tasks. Martin, hold on. You see this here? It's a Isn't full that a unique beauty? all-wheel drive female well, in the wild. As yeah, you can tell from the pivoting <laughs> chassis in the end there. That's quite nice. Look, it's having no problem with the, the leaves and debris. And oh, oh. She's running to an obstacle, but she's smart enough to know that she can get out of there. And I think that's incredibly important. So if you come up a little bit closer, and we don't want to angle her. Easy. <laughs> Tackle her. 